Hi. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So, my name is Hajo Eichler and I'm the CTO of Commerce Tools and my work in Commerce Tools is to ensure that all the engineers working on this products that we build, right, Composable Commerce and uh, Integrated Offering, that we build this product that way that our customers can be really successful with it. One of the important things we build with our products is the extensibility point of view of an e-commerce solution not being a single product anymore, but combined of many products that you need in order to fulfill the solution of your e-commerce business. And this means uh, it is very important that you very good integrate with others. My name is Hauke Rahm. I'm uh, based in Berlin. I'm the VP of Customer Success at Commerce Tools. The customer that I have in mind is globally operating on a single website, which in itself is already uh, can be challenging, can be very interesting with internationalization and, and all of these aspects. They have a constant need of being really high flexible on scalability from the baseline and then with very high peaks uh, and this in a very sudden point of view. And this is where they were not satisfied with the solution they had before and looked out for something that can fulfill these needs of instant scalability when it's necessary for their campaigns that they run. At the same time, the marketing organization was refocusing. They had actually had multiple websites and was about to merge, which would just mean even more traffic, mix and mash with the commerce traffic, etc. So this entire set of problems kind of erupted almost in the moment of truth kind of kind of situation for them and they were questioning how do we set ourselves up for the next five or ten years or so and the scalable and composable approach that that we offered where they could say we don't have to replace everything at a moment's notice we could start with the product catalog and bring that one in and start playing this out to a brand new website they could do a b testing and all of these things because you could just you know turn on individual services and that that's kind of what they what they bought into Sometimes you have to scale up before the things happen. It's all about collaboration. So talk to each other. You can only build a good product if you really understand the pain points that the customer has. Then the second thing is we know technology can do awesome things, but technology also has sometimes limits. So the more transparency you have in this relationship, you actually end up in a good win-win situation because you can tackle them together. They started developing all their services with, you know, in the cloud, and then they looked at the components that they could buy. And commerce, obviously, is a huge chunk of that, and this is where our conversation started back then. If we go back to the idea of scalability, scalability has different uh, timing things from something can go up in, in seconds, then minutes, and then hours, and so on. And we don't have hours, we don't have minutes, and sometimes we even don't have seconds. So we need to ramp up very, very fast. So when I look at this customer, we could, in our own monitoring, and our own graphs, could even almost see the launch moment because we could almost feel like people hitting the F5 button to just be really the first to, to get the new product. And this would result in peaks on our system. Now, the difference between what they had with us or half with us and what they had before was that we just consumed the peak. We would just actually serve these API calls, we would actually respond, and we would serve all of these customers with the product information, the product detail pages, and everything they, they were loading. So it's not only important that you are fast uh, while doing the transaction, but also uh, playing out all this, so to say, secondary information of the order. The experience that they had when they did their first Black Friday with us was that for the first time in, I don't know, almost a decade probably, <laughs> uh, they didn't have an outrage on Twitter, you know, for lack of a better word, <laughs> uh, which, which they were very much used to. What we're trying to do, and I think what's unique about our support team is that we work as a team together, so if anyone has a problem, they're not left alone with a problem. We solve together and then we try to help the customers um, in the best way possible there. So even though we are all across the globe, we work as a unit and we're all interested in making sure our customers are supported. And that's not just a concern of the support team, it's a concern of the product team, it's a concern of the customer success team, it's a concern 
of you know commerce tools as a whole. So to say, we evolved with our customers, for example, to support a case where you have not only one million of products but one hundred million of products. This magnitude is coming very often with new customers that bring very specific problems to us, and this keeps, so to say, our challenge level high, which I like, <laughs> and that's cool. Thank you.